I just want to give a quick shout out to each and every one of you guys that comment on my videos letting me know what I've missed or any information that might not be in the anime that's relevant or anything in terms of outside perspective or references that I missed that I need to understand fully the anime or the episode. So from a, someone who thoroughly enjoys understanding everything, thank you guys for commenting. You guys let me know that the person that last episode, Gallus Cleaner, was when I thought Rudy was actually just a little on edge and used that wind attack to push him out of the way because he was angry that he walked into him. He was actually s saving his head from injury because of that vase. Who I was like, whose vase is that? Was going to fall on his head. So shout out Rudy, shout out Gallus Cleaner, and shout out you guys. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Mushoku Tensei, episodes 13 and 14. This episode is called Miss Connections. Like I said last episode, we saved Gallus Cleaner from being injured by a vase after we got a new demon eye, and that was the reason we were able to do that, from Kishirika, the demon Loli, the demon queen or empress, I forgot what she said, so we shall find out what happened to that, and that was all thanks to Man God, who told us to buy the food and go down this alley, so he knew something would happen like this, curious where we're gonna go, we have a new resolve from Ruijer to turn a blind eye towards our crime and evilness until we get him uh, uh on the main continent until he takes us home so i'm excited i gotta find out what happens i'm super super hyped don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching on the channel we are four episodes ahead on that patreon links are in the description down below like always for you guys if you guys want to support me and patreon it's not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment it really does help me with that youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all the dapper darius Let's hop into this, Mushoku Tensei, episodes 13 and 14. This first one is called Missed Connections. Let's do this. All right, here we go. This is the Adventurers Guild, and that's Powell's old party with Roxy. Alina Lee's. She's comparing herself to her and her attractiveness. Roxy is something else. She a king class water mage. She is well known. She I like this elf. That's all I gotta say. I need to start adventuring with her. I need Rudy and Roxy to come in contact in this city so bad. Is that Geld who died in Horseman? Who got fucking bitched by Rejerd? Oh, is this her old party? Is she having a, a flashback? Hmm. I wonder if that was a flashback. Has to be, right? She does whatever she needs to to get info. Uh... I, yeah, she does whatever she needs to do to get information. <laughs> okay, Alina Lise. I think that was her, ah, man, I need to get her name again. They're all doing investigating, asking questions, gathering info on Powell's family. So she's heard of our party, dead end, but she's specifically talking about Rui Jird right now. Mm-hmm, it makes sense. She's actually, is putting stuff together, which I like. The names have, uh, have spread. Mad Dog Aris, Guard Dog Rujird, and then Kennel Master Rujird, that is what they called him. A tiny mage who's always up to no good. Come on, Roxy, you were so close. I want you to put two and two together so bad. Yeah. I agree, Zenith will probably be fine. She was an S rank adventurer? I agree on that though. Lilia and Aisha should be number one priority in terms of finding because they cannot handle themselves. Hmm. Hmm. He's matured and grown a good amount. Oh, she's. Is this where we saw? Yes, where Ruijerd got. Yep. So this is a little bit back before last episode. 
Eris and Ruiz are training. I'll never get over that animation. That shit is so sick. So that's why Roxy ran. Okay, it makes sense. She was genuinely scared. And then Eris got that free hit on Ruiger and was hyped that she got the hit. He... I agree, Roxy was a little haste right there, a little hasty, but you could have warned me if I would walk in the house if you'd have nine dudes in there jacking off, you know? A passionate invitation. Five of them. One day. Is he going to be the smuggler we're looking for to take us off this continent? Because Ruiger's the one with the insanely high bill transporting him across, so Gallus is going to be smuggling him. Meanwhile, we're just going. <laughs> this is this is this is so funny. This is so many movies and shows right here. Rudy is something else. I'm telling you. Because he's seen so many shows and movies like this, he just he references pop culture so much and it's hilarious. <laughs> a sip of coffee at dawn. <laughs> you guys were running like Adam and Eve. Why do you have just a leaf on <laughs> Oh, she's... Oh, yep. That's more like it. That'd be cool if healing magic could like help with nausea and stuff like that, you know? Alright, Rudy. Now is not the time to be looking like this. She is actively throwing up. That is gross. She is seasick. Okay, show. You okay, show. Really? Really, show? Really, show? I don't want to pause it real quick. I just I just think it's so funny. I was talking to an IRL friend. I, I don't think you're going to watch this far in the video, even though you do like every video. Shouts out to you, Phil. But I was talking to Phil about this show because he's heard things about the show, but I told him to watch it and he watched it all and then was talking to me about it. So he's seen all of season one and he was saying a lot of the things that you guys say, you know, he's, he thoroughly enjoys it. It's one of his more favorite Isek guys. He loves, he said Roxy's his favorite character, which doesn't shock me. But he said, one thing I can't say, one thing I could say about Rudy is, and I agreed. I was like, we cannot judge him. Even though he does some outlandishly weird, crazy shit, if we, me and him, me specifically, I can talk for myself. If I grew up or at least was born in the world that he was born in and lived 40, however many years he lived as a social recluse where I was jerking off to porn during my parents' funeral, like at that point, I think that's peak. I can't really, I can't judge him for that. Like that was weird what just happened on the boat, but that compared to like, you know, like I can't judge Rudy. Rudy is Rudy. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rudy is just Rudy. I paused it for too long just to talk about that, but I just felt that was so funny. I had to talk about it. I'm just like, Rudy is Rudy, man. I won't lie. Rudy looks kind of badass holding his spear, or his staff, and then Rudyard's spear on his back. <laughs> he looks kind of badass. So my question is, are we going to go down here and everything's working out so far? Okay. Still got the necklace on and everything. That's the boy Rui Jerd. You know Rui Jerd's not gonna allow that, so we gotta kill him. Free, we gotta free the kids. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. See, this is kind of what Rui Jerd and Rudy are saying. Rudy says no killing, and I agree. Ultimatums like that are kind of like Batman. Certain people they just don't kill. You know, it's just like their thing. Spider Man just does not kill but i'm 
it's a gray area because I was on Ruby D's side last time when we were kind of interrogating. But that's, I mean, they were kidnapping animals. They also were evil. So I feel like a dickhead for not wanting to. But these guys are literally murdering children. So they, like, it's so, it's, it's a hard situation. Honestly, I'll say this. I'm on the fence, but I'll be down either way. If we don't kill them, I'll live with it. If Ruby Jerd kills them all, I'll live with it. They are total strangers. They are murderers. Rui Jard knows. He knows a lot. He's so observant of what Rudy's going through. I respect that. I respect that. I love the way they animate him when he gets all dark and gritty like that. Oh my god. How deep are we going? Oh my god. They are beast children, so they're hissing. They're just like scared animals, you know? It's just instincts backed in a corner. It honestly is weird because they are children, but I, I I like that feeling when an animal in real life is like scared of you and you can earn their trust a little bit and like, you know? Because he can speak the beast language from Ghislaine, right? I was literally just about to ask if they spoke that. Shouts out to Ghislaine. Plugging with the beast language. The fact that Rudy knows human language, demon language, and beast language comes in so handy when it comes to traveling. There was a dog, and it was a really cool looking dog. Right? Eh. Uh, I mean, yeah. I can't lie, that dog looks. Oh. It's like a force field. That dog looks like a dog you'd see in like a JRPG. It looks dope. Alright, well we saved the dog. <laughs> what are you doing to the sacred beast? It's another beast person. Ooh, and this guy seems pretty damn strong. That, like, screech disor- It, like, paralyzed him. He's literally, like... This, he thinks he's one of the smugglers? He was fondling. <laughs> so now we have to deal with this. This is gonna be difficult. That is always, oh, I get so frustrated when people get wrongly accused. Like, that man was saving them. Damn it. All right, on to episode 14. This one's called No Such Thing as a Free Lunch. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Hello, I'm Rudy, a former jobless bum. Zero deposit fees or rent? How do I find this apartment? Heartwarming wood, something like beach. He's in prison. I'm just joking, guys, you know. It comes furnished with a bed. And food? Oh, my God. All comped. Breakfast, dinner. Nothing to sneeze at. That is true. Used to life on the demon continent. <laughs> where he was eating bugs and shit. After all, I'm one of them. So, this is where the beast people are living. And this, like... Treehouse Forest. It really reminds me of a uh, where Jet lived in Avatar: The Last Airbender, in the treehouses as well. Or it reminds me of like Made in Abyss, because Made in Abyss had like something similar. It's been a long time since I've seen it. They had like a treehouse, like a forest. That was like an upside down forest, wasn't it? I'm actually curious. I'm literally just now thinking of it, because I was just gonna say again. Shouts out Ghislaine for teaching us the beast language. It'll come in handy for our negotiations here. But I wonder what's going to happen if we mention we're friends with Ghislaine. That has to happen at some point. Uh-huh. Yeah, you have no orientation. Yep, you would be fucked getting lost in this jungle. And they probably know it like the back of their hands, you know? Horrible. 
変な性癖に目覚めたらどうしてくれる What are we keeping track of the days we were here? Writing notes? What are we doing? Animation in terms of the world, cinematography, the setup shots, animals, all looking fantastic so far. Ooh. Fishing would be dope too. Oh. Fishing would be dope too. Okay, so how long are we going to stay here and allow that to be an option, though? Right? Like, just hear me out one time. Oh, my God. What are those big ears for if not to listen, you know? We finally have a cellmate now. And we're just straight and naked. <laughs> Welcome to the lab. <laughs> Why didn't they strip him naked? Why is Rudy the only naked guy? Sick, attacked by a beast in heat? Really? The sacred beast. Geese. Okay. Okay. Even so. So we're getting serious. We're having a strategy conversation while we're getting a naked massage. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Who set the whole forest on fire? This could cause so much damage. That is so handy, I'm telling you. That is super handy. Just a naked dead sprint. Good, let's get our clothes back. Oh, okay, so they're getting raided. That's why they're... Forest is on fire. I thought this was Rui Jerd, but no. So this is kind of like what happened to those kids. Like they're just getting literally kidnapped. Like this is horrible. This yeah, this is horrible. Yeah, I agree, but we're not gonna let this go by, you know. Nah. We're you're a better man than this, Rudy. I agree. I agree. This is the kind of development I want to see. This is if, if he goes out of his way to save them, this will be good development for Rudy. Oh my, because yeah, Rudy easily could have just let them get their come up, especially after what they did to him. They'll owe me one. That's what I like to hear. Okay, Geese has been pretty cool so far. I won't lie. <laughs> Gives naked massages. Also sticks with the plan, willing to do whatever. Okay, Geese. I know. Oh. That would put that out so fast. Oh, this is the dude who captured Rudy. We'll talk later. I'll deal with you after I deal with these guys. Oh, Gallus, you little bitch. I had Gallus's name written down and everything. I thought he was gonna be cool. Man, f Gallus. Oh, hell no. We're killing Gallus right now. He said nobles with some fetishes or some freaks, yeah. I don't know who he's thinking about, but. Throws her. Ooh, okay. Oh, Gallus is nice with it. That was well played from Gallus, I can't lie. Using the girl to get the other two to stop him, and then mm, that's North God style. Gallus the Cleaner. He's a Saint level. Saint level North God style.
the beast. The beast is not cool with Gallus hurting its people. Now that's sprung Rudy into action with a little air cannon. And get the girl to safety. Okay, we got a little beast team up. We got Geese, the Beast, and Rudis. Come on, this is a team right here. Ooh, the foresight. How are we gonna use this in an actual spell for the first time? He's reaching. For a side throw. Oh, he still was able to get it in time. We gotta work on our reaction speed a little bit. He caught the blade, right? He didn't like, okay, good. If he stay, Let's go, geese. Some sand. Get in this man's eye. What did we just use? Special beam cannon, final flash, Kamehameha. What the hell was that? Now, is he dead or is he knocked out? Good job, team. This is... This is not a team I would have ever expected. Random Geese, who just came in this episode, shouts out him. He's fucking dope. Super Beast, which also came in this episode, shouts out him. He's fucking dope. And then the boy Rudy. Yeah, I swear to God, if these Beast people try to tell me I'm fondling this Beast, come on. Oh, Eris Ruiger, what's up? See, you can tell they feel bad by how they treated Rudy. You can tell. See, that feels good. Have some genuine gratitude for the good thing you did for people. You could tell he thoroughly enjoyed that. Hey! Me? That's not, that's not me, right? That, that, wait, that's me? Oh, you I'm butthurt. I, those were great episodes, but also I'm butthurt. God, man. So the first episode, Miss Connections, it was Good seeing Roxy and the dwarf and the elf try to gather info and seeing like catch up to them with what they've been doing in the city. Meanwhile, we know what Rudy's been doing and all that. But I gotta say, Alina Lise, um, yeah, she is something else. We'll say that. I cannot believe that she is that promiscuous. Oh, yeah, she is something else, but. They were able to get some information about Dead End. Roxy's starting to put the pieces together, but it, you know, still cannot figure out that it's uh, Rudy behind all this. I, I hope she does, and they can come and meet up. It's, uh, so much shit is hitting the fan because we got to tell Roxy we saw her parents. We got to tell, and then what happened with Eris's granddad, Sauros, right there? And they said like, Dar like that's me, Darius. Come on, I was. <laughs> Why do I gotta be like that? I'd rather be like Rui Jerd. Why can't Rui Jerd be named Darius, man? And then we have everything that happened with the uh, Gallus Cleaner and helping the Beast Children to being miss, to being falsely accused like Rudy was, and then the whole misunderstanding in terms of fondling the Beast, which that was just whole, that was hilarious. But us being naked in prison for a few days and getting geese was the MVP of this episode. To come help us out give us a naked massage and then we realized that they were getting raided uh, by gallus again and we had to help them out even though they did us dirty and it made everything all the better and then we were able to actually with some teamwork thankfully because gallus was really strong able to defeat a saint north god style sword user so that's pretty damn impressive shouts out to rudy shouts out rui jerd Shouts out everyone. I was so hoping that he would mention Ghislaine, especially because of how renowned she is. I, I I forgot who it was, so shouts out to you. But someone commented because she is a king level sword user, right? That there's only like a handful, like three or four in the world. So her telling Al Al Manfi during the Man of Disaster, like, hey, 
I put this on my sword. I am Ghislaine. They, like, that means a lot. Like, she is, like, saying, like, yo, yo, you know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. I'm hyped to see her again. I miss her so, so much. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon, early access, full length, all that jazz. Follow me on YouTube. Click that subscribe button. Click that bell so you know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Don't forget to drink some water. Be safe out there. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.